If you're around a long time, there's a lot to be said for longevity. You must be doing something right. I knew how to communicate. I know how to talk to people. I know how to make people laugh. And I know how to draw people out. And I knew how to listen, which is very important in interviewing. Listening is as important as asking. Ted Turner had guessed it on my old radio show and on my local television show in Washington. So he knew my work and he liked my work and he had a show on, on CNN for the first five years called The Freeman Report and they were kind of backing him into the corner on a new contract. He called me up. I was doing my all night radio show and he wanted to know if I would now take on doing national television on CNN. I didn't have CNN in my home. I had never seen it. I'd guessed it once on the Sandy Freeman Report, the show I replaced. But then when the opportunity came, I took it, and that was on June 1st, 1985. And that show took off right away, and I spent 26 years working for Ted Turner and CNN, and then later Time Warner. It was a wonderful 26 years. Ted was a great man to work for. I consider myself very lucky for, the, for all the years I've been in the business, 57. I've loved, I, get, I would have to say I've loved almost every day of it. All my life I wanted to be in radio. I dreamed of it. When I was five years old, I used to listen to the radio every day. I'd imitate radio announcers, pretend I was a radio announcer. So my first opportunity was to go down to Miami, break in on a small station. Miami was a perfect market. There were a lot of stations, there was no union. There were either older gentlemen who were sort of near retirement or young guys on the way up. And I got a job there and got famous very early in Miami. When Jackie came to Miami, he was not a mentor, but he liked me a lot. And so he came on my radio show, came on my television show. When I switched channels in, in, uh, in Miami from the ABC affiliate to the CBS affiliate, he did all my promos. He came on my first show on my new channel. He came on my first show on my first national radio show. He was a, a gigantic figure, larger than life. And he taught me things, like he, he once said to me, the, the only secret in this business is there's no secret. Be yourself. If you're yourself, they're either going to like you or not like you. You can't make them like you. Just be you. The night before he died, his PR person called and Jackie had asked him to call me to say goodbye. I would say he was a friend. The first guest I thought when I really made it was Frank Sinatra. When he did my local radio show, Jackie Gleason got him for me. Sinatra didn't do radio. He was the largest figure in the world in entertainment. He did three hours with me on my local radio show in Miami. That was enormous. And then I guess one of the most historic nights I ever did was when I had Yitzhak Rabin, Yasser Arafat, and King Hussein all on at the same time. And I was doing, as Kissinger told me later, I was doing world diplomacy on the air. So I felt here's this little Jewish guy from Brooklyn in the volatile Middle East, and I'm doing interviewing all three of them at the same time. So I'm broadcasting seven decades, pinch myself every day. I think I'm very fortunate. New Yorker did a story on me once, and they, they called me every man, that I'm kind of a, a never very intellectual. I was curious. I think my quality was curiosity. I never had an agenda. I left myself out of it. I didn't use the word I in interviews. I thought I was irrelevant. The guest counted. The guest was not a prop. Uh, the host counts more than the guest. I never felt that way. Uh, the show was my show. I was in control. I always came back the next day. I never, I never had a goal to be famous or a goal to make a lot of money. My goal was to communicate and I liked all forms of communication. I liked radio, I liked television, I liked writing books. I did newspaper columns for USA Today, the Miami Herald, the Sporting News. I do personal appearances. I liked, I liked telling stories, I liked doing comedy. I like uh, master ceremony symposiums. I like speaking at conventions. I like the whole ball of wax. The best advice ever given to me was what I said earlier, be yourself. Trust your instincts. You know, if you're good enough, there's always room for talent. There is no great talent not being found sitting in Biloxi, Mississippi. If you have talent, you will be heard, you will be seen. So know that, never give up. If you really want it, 
and you have talent, you will make it.